Hi there everyone, Guardian E here with another news update video for Azure Lane, this time covering the maintenance for November 17th. We're going to be covering the events and additions that dropped, as well as the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, both in-game and in the Yostar shop. We're actually going to be taking a closer look at some Yostar merch that Yostar was kind enough to send over to me for review. We'll cover some figure news, the upcoming Atelier Ryza collaboration news, and we'll have timestamps and chapters down below for convenience. Got a lot to get into today, so let's get started. Now tonight on November 17th, we will be getting the Universe in Unison dropped into our War Archives with an accompanying limited rate up banner. So we should be seeing idle versions of some of our favorite ships. In the banner should be Dido Muse, Taiho Muse, Tashkent Muse as the rate up SRs, and then we have Albacore Muse, and Baltimore Muse as the Raid Up Elites. I would expect Lamala Muse to be added to the Merit Shop, and Illustrious Muse and Rune Muse to be added to the Core Shop. The Class of 36 mini event will be permanently added to the Archives, which will allow you to complete event missions and get this free skin for Nimi, so don't miss out. Additionally, Akashi's Fanbook will be making a return, which will allow you to acquire this free skin for Akashi by completing those event missions. And then finally, a new memory will drop in the game for KMS Blucher. So, Blucher fans, rejoice! Starting today on the 17th of November, there will be a Black Friday skin sale in-game. And that's going to basically mirror what we had last year. All skins prior to June 9th, 2022 will be returning for a limited time for sale, excluding collaboration skins. So this is the perfect opportunity to pick up some of the skins that you may have missed along the way. Now it is going to feature some milestone rewards through the Akashi's Fire Sale based on the number of skins purchased during the sale itself. I'll have the graphic up here so you can see there are six tiers of bonuses for purchasing limited skins during the relevant time period. Buying just one skin will net you the new limited dorm furniture, Fountain of Gems, which is also going to be available for purchase in the dorm shop separately, so you do have that option if you would like to get it and you're not interested in picking up any skins. Buying two skins will earn five Tier 4 Mystery Gear parts. Three skins will get you ten Bonus Wisdom Cubes. Tier 4 provides two Super Rare Meowficer boxes. Tier 5 will give you two Tier 4 skill books. And Tier 6 will give you a bonus promise ring. There are also three days of login bonuses that will earn you five purple mats, one gold BP, and three Tier 3 skill books sequentially. The Black Friday Lucky Bag 2022 will also be available for $29.99. You'll get 2022 gems, two Special General Blueprints Series 5, 50 Cognitive Chips, 35 Wisdom Cubes, 12 Quick Finishers, and 100 Decor Tokens. And of course, one random Live 2D skin from a selection of Live 2D skins this past year, stretching from Reno and North Carolina's Bunny Suits to Rune and Aegir's Maid Skins. Lots of really, really amazing skins available here, some of my personal favorites. If you don't have them already, this is a great chance to pick them up. Now, getting a new skin from this bag will count towards the Akashi Fire sale. I think this is a change because I don't actually think it counted last year, so that's actually pretty great. And if you are curious about my personal picks for the skin sale, I will link my own top 10 personal favorite skins for year 2, year 3, and year 4 in the description and comments below. Now, starting on November 21st, the Yostar Shop will be featuring a site-wide 15% off discount on all merchandise, excluding the fourth year anniversary stuff that just came out. So that means that everything else will be at least at a 15% discount, including a lot of the summer swag that dropped right before the fourth anniversary, uh, including the water bottles, as well as the heat sensitive towels and all that good stuff. So those items are accepted, but everything else is going to be at least 15% off. And also a subset of items in the store listed here are going to be at up to 30% off, so a nice opportunity to pick up some of these. Now furthermore, they will be launching a new set of Black Friday merch, some of which was only previously available at Anime Expo. It's currently listed as coming soon on the Yostar shop, but this will go live on the 21st of November. So November 21st, mark your calendars, you can access it from the main store page under Black Friday 2022. And as you can see here, we have a 2023 calendar, some character cushions featuring Shimakaze, Richelieu, Enterprise, Anchorage, and Essex, and some acrylic keychains featuring the same designs and characters as the cushions. There's a new Prince Eugen plushie, a new formidable plushie, and all new 3D mouse pads for Shinano and Musashi. 
Finally, the shop is getting a full restock of certain items that were previously sold out. These include the Cheshire Mug, the Oil Tank Mug from the second anniversary, the April Fool's Day Eye Masks, the Taiho Soft Blanket, both the second and third anniversary 3D mouse pads. Now, a lot of these items sold out quickly before and ended up being highly coveted. I know a bunch of people really wanted a rerun of that Cheshire Mug. Uh, the anniversary mouse pads are always a premium, excellent choice as well. Uh, so certainly happy for commanders that have another stab at getting these items. Now, a link will be provided in the description and in a pinned comment below to the storefront if you would like to take advantage of the sale. I know that I'm personally definitely going to be picking up at least the 3D mouse pads for Shinano and Musashi. So here, we're going to be taking a closer look at a couple of the items that Yostar sent me. So there's the New Jersey plush, there's the 4th anniversary t-shirt in the black style, and the New Jersey 4th anniversary mug. So, first up, the mug. It features a very shiny and sleek golden line art for New Jersey. The material itself has this nice, very premium looking gloss. Uh, it feels very well made. It has a surprising heft to it. The mug is made of porcelain, and as opposed to some ceramic mugs out there, porcelain is actually uh, more durable, it's resistant to wear and tear, uh, and actually retains heat better. Uh, it's also non-porous, so it won't absorb the flavors and the smells of your heated beverage of choice. And it also tends to be more expensive, so this is actually a pretty quality mug. I was actually surprised at how sturdy it felt in my hands. It's certainly a step up from my usual morning drinkware, and I definitely do appreciate the upgrade. But it looks classy, it's stylish, um, I'm definitely impressed with the overall make of this one. The New Jersey plushie is super cute, I have to say. It has a lot of embroidery, a lot of details. There are these star pupils in her eyes, giving her this sort of look of wonderment. Uh, she has that signature cat-like smile. The little antennae bunny ears actually have a little adjustable wire metal in them to prop them up, so you actually have the option of kind of shifting it around and posing them how you'd like to. Uh, her hair is done up in these felt layers that are mostly glued down, so there's not a ton of give and flexibility there. She also has these star-shaped icons on the soles of her feet. Lots of patchwork stitching on the sides feel really, really quality. The long coat that hangs off of her has this iridescent, shiny material on it. You know, I feel like making a New Jersey plushie in general is actually a little challenging, because she just has so many of these accessories and things hanging off of her, or things poking out or jutting out. Uh, and I think they made some, some good solutions here overall. I actually like it a lot more than I thought that I would. It's not really that squeezable in terms of like the plush inside. It's not, there's not a ton of give. She's actually more sturdy than I thought she would be with the filling. There's just a lot of creative accommodations that they made for her design with like the, the rainbow straps and then the long coat. It's overall not quite as chubby as you would think a plushie would be. But nonetheless, it does feel relatively cuddly. I am impressed with the overall uh, quality of the item as a whole. And, and let's face it, it's the closest I'm going to come to New Jersey uh, snuggling in bed in one of my t-shirts. And speaking of t-shirts, we have the 4th Anniversary Black Design t-shirt uh, that was also provided. It has nice, vibrant decals on both the front and the back that show really brightly, despite even being on the dark cloth. Uh, it's cotton. Thick, well-made. It features a fun black dragon with shades, splash art in the front, and a little New Jersey chibi logo as well. The back is a little more muted, but has the 4th anniversary logo, all of the faction insignias across, as well as a triple manju design near the neck. I like the little bands that say Commander Only across the bottom and the arms. You don't often see decals on the arms of a t-shirt, so it's overall pretty nice. I, I think I may have preferred something a little bit more muted in design, I think, uh, just to fit in with my own tastes, but I think for what it is, it's a well done shirt. And of course we finally have news with respect to the next collaboration. There is an official Japanese live stream scheduled for November 18th at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. So definitely looking forward to that. We will of course be releasing a first impressions and reaction to that live stream after it goes live as well as just a recap of what of the news that uh, that was included within that live stream. So if you are interested in seeing that, do make sure to subscribe to the channel so you do get notified when that goes live. And in figure news, the 1 4th scale of Vittorio Veneto in her swimsuit is currently available for pre-order. This 1 4th scale figure is by Freeing and is going to be retailing at approximately 40,000 yen. 
or around $290 to $300 with the current exchange rate. Again, as a 1 4th scale, she is going to be enormous and she looks absolutely spectacular. Certainly one of the most eye-catching live 2D skins in the game translates exceptionally well as a figure here, as you can see from these shots. I do lament that you don't get a little bucket of cola or other little accessories to come alongside her, but that being said, she looks way, way too good to pass up. I am absolutely going to be pre-ordering her. And pre-orders are also open for Waves 1-7 scale Honolulu in her Festival Yukata outfit. This is set for a May 2023 release. It's retailing for about 29,000 yen, or approximately 200 US dollars. Absolutely love the vibrant colors on this one, as well as the swirling twin tails gives a sense of momentum and movement to the whole thing. It does look like it comes with an alternate faceplate, so you can swap her expressions from a super happy, smiling one to something that's a little bit more serious. And Wings 1-7 scale for Penelope is also available for pre-order. She is set for a release in September 2023. Listed price is about 20,000 yen, so approximately 150 US dollars. I really love the soft shading and detail on this figure, and she comes with all these little nice knickknacks and accessories, the pile of books, the plant, uh, the little sign on the side really kind of brings the whole thing to life. I will provide affiliate pre-order links down below to Hobby League Japan for Penelope, Honolulu, and Vittorio Veneto if you would like to pre-order them and support the channel, but of course they are also available at all of the standard figure import retailers, AmiAmi.com, Tokyo Otaku Mode, Hobby Search, Amazon Japan, etc, etc. Alright, well as usual we are going to close out the news update with some daily pulls and we've got the inverted Orthont rerun here. So we're just going to burn through our tickets here as a send off to the event. Yeah, we got a total of 8 pulls I think including the tickets. Let's go ahead and finish all. We did end up securing our Heinrich dupe that we wanted. Certainly wouldn't say no to a Peter Strasser dupe as well. Or another Heinrich if they decide to bless us with one. Yorktown is going to be the non-event elite. But any event ship would be a nice a nice surprise. Getting a Unicorn, Shropshire, Langley, Pensacola, and <laughs> that is going to be it. So not terribly surprising. We did luck out on a couple of tickets on day one. Quite honestly, I am totally okay with that. But uh, that's about it. I mean, let me know in the comments below how your polls have been going on the Inverted Orthont rerun, uh, what you're most excited about for the Black Friday sale, if you're going to be picking up any new skins, any new merch, uh, if you're going to be enjoying those discounts, and uh, what you're looking forward to reveal-wise for the upcoming Japanese live stream. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching, for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.